All right, I've been downstairs doing some re reviews. I am for the Marshall Amp Forum, and <clears throat> I've wanted to do a review of the Mesa Heartbreaker for a while. It's um, not a very well known amp by Mesa, and I think it's I think it's fantastic sounding. And I've I've not had it real long, maybe three or four months now. He's advertised in all the magazines back in like the late uh well i guess it was not uh, yeah late 90s i was gonna say maybe around 2000 or so but i think i'm not sure when they come out with these but i want to say around maybe 97 something like that but anyway it's a great sounding amp i mean i don't know why people don't give it more attention and i think it gets labeled as a low gain blues amp i don't really think that does the amp justice either um so we'll try to get around to the back i'm sure it's you know anybody's looked at these online they've seen the back of one but um it's too close to the wall i'm running uh el34s they're the uh, groove tubes uh well they're el34ms and all the preamp tubes are uh, just jj's that's what i mean i changed the power tubes out i had 6l6s in it when i got it and i, and I don't think those sound as well in the amp and i did replace the rectifier tube um, it uh, was having some issues with the rectifier tube when I got it and then I got a new old stock uh, the, an RCA um, 5U4 GB I'm going to use the uh, PRS here it's a I've had it since about 92 or 93 and it's just a CE24 uh, PRS. It does have uh, DiMarzio virtual PAFs in it. And I don't play that guitar a whole lot anymore. Um, and I'm running through, I'm not running through the Seismic 212. I am running through the Marshall with greenbacks, the Marshall cabinet with greenbacks. Oh, let's see here. Um, just running straight into the amp from the guitar. You know, no, nothing. That other cable is the foot switch I've got plugged in, and just straight into the head here. And this guitar sometimes has issues. I got to put another volume pot in it, so it may, if it starts cutting in and out. Well. Um, hopefully, that camera is not distorting. Let me get out of the way here a little bit. And, oh, let's see here. I'm gonna. I've been doing some different stuff with it. Um, Let's start, well, let's just start on the clean channel. Or it's actually, I call it the clean channel. It's channel one is the, uh, it's supposed to be like the Mark One boogie. Um, and I've got it set up for a clean tone right now. That's probably distorting that camera. It's kind of back of here. Um, hey, uh, Switch the guitar to single coils. I can go a hair louder. All right, but real quick, just go through this channel. I'm not going to change anything on the EQ. I'll just go through different gain settings that it has. Um, like I so said, this is your clean. Uh, down to the bridge pickup. stuff on the back of the amp where you've got the silicon diode switch and uh, the tube or yeah the tube or silicon diode switch you've got that built-in variac back lower the voltage I've got it running on higher voltage with the L34s which makes it does warn you that it may it may pop some fuses or something doing that because supposedly modern day L34s won't handle the higher voltage I think the amp sounds better on the higher voltage and I, it's not popped any fuses so far with running it like that. That's maybe the, the half power setting, which I do have it on right now. It's on 40 watts um, instead of, 
I guess about 40, 45 watts is what they say the amp runs with with the L34s. If you have the full power, it's uh, about 90. <laughs> in the loop or anything. All right, now I'll have to adjust some gain and master volume here to go through some stuff because it, it gets very loud real quick. All right, let's go to um, the high gain setting. Actually, let me go back to the low gain on that. said to get the, the best of each you would have to maybe re EQ it a little bit and you got the presence knob on that channel on both channels in the back not messing with any of that just going through the game so you can kind of get an idea of what each channel does <laughs> Mesa I've really had, so I, but I think the amp sounds fantastic. But I'll switch over to the curvaceous just for a second. sounds a lot like a JTM 45 on the low gain and on the higher gain it goes into like a hot rodded Marshall super lead or, or plexi you know super lead type amp um, Sounds exactly like one. 
little bit. And um, this is the gain up on this channel. And um, just sounds very martially and, and it has plenty of gain. <laughs> Sounds good. I don't think people will give it a try because I think it's a great amplifier. <laughs> 